But once you get to a certain level, like in terms of language, right, uh, our human being, you know, we are designed to mm-hmm. pursue more and more and more. Someone like me who I feel like my English is pretty decent, but um, the better I, now I want to be better and better and better. So uh, in the beginning of our conversation, I just, you know, talked briefly about uh, there's a gap between me and the native English speaker. I just want to close the gap, you know, bit by bit, even though there may be like uh, something that I cannot even overcome, maybe there's something, but uh, that stress, you know, it's really crucial to balance it out. That stress, right? You want to get better and better, better. At the same time, yeah. you got to, you got to pat yourself, you know, you got to pat yourself in the back saying, you know, you're doing okay. You know, you're doing well. You're getting better yeah. and better and better. Don't push yourself too much. So yeah. that balance... No, no. Yeah. As, as the problem is, I at least with myself, when I uh, try to improve much, I have that like I need to improve. I need to get better. I actually get worse because I'm putting too much. Um, I'm yeah. not letting it become natural. I'm, I'm I'm making it forced. I'm I'm focusing on every little thing, yeah. and it's not like a natural. Um, I don't know. For me, it's not a natural way to learn. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's good. You need a certain drive to learn a language, but on the other hand, you kind of also need to relax and let it happen naturally. So yeah, like yeah. It, it kind of does part of you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm struggling with it sometimes when I feel like, oh man, I've been doing it for a long time. You know, I'm English, I'm a, you know, I'm a teacher myself. Uh, but I sometimes, you know, can't avoid comparing myself to uh, native English speakers and even those people who are so smart and language, they have their language genes or something in their body that they just seem mm-hmm. like a lot so quickly. They just speak like a native English speaker, you know, like, you know, after spending for less, less than six months, you know, <laughs> there are people yeah. like that. Right. So uh, sometimes when I compare myself to those people, it's frustrating. You know, it's really hard to hard to, you know, I mean, because I'm a, I'm sort of like a, I don't want to say that I'm a perfectionist, but I am very goal driven person. I am mm-hmm. very, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm high achiever. You know, yeah. I'm high okay. achiever. So I always try to get better and better, better. But um, that's my problem, I guess. You know, sometimes I'm struggling that I have to overcome. You're doing great. You're doing great. What do you think is the most difficult thing for you in English? I, I think I have no problem in terms of communication itself because I tend to, I, I speak a lot, you know, in English in front of my students. At the same time, I have a lot of friends all over the world. I speak English to them, right? Um, mm-hmm. But it's not about that. It's more about like uh, my uh, accent sometimes. I'm insecure about my accent because I tend to speak too fast, not maybe because... Uh, I try to be better than them. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe some part, I want to beat you. I want to be better than you. You know, maybe how can I be better than you? How can I prove that? Maybe I need to speak faster than you. You know, my brain is <laughs> faster than you, right? That's I, I have the same, I have the same problem in Spanish. Like uh, my, my teachers are used to tell me in the university, Rebecca, slow down. You're making more mistakes because you're talking too fast. You're talking so fast. We can't even understand you. And I'm like, yeah, but I want to sound like a native. I need to speak fast. I need to go. <laughs> and it doesn't, it's, yeah.
제가 오늘 부산 시청에서 어, 특별한 강의를 합니다. 다문화 가정에 대한 그런 내용이거든요. 근데 the problem is you know, now that I so uh, now I'm so used to the way I speak because I've been spoken that fast quite a long time and mm -hmm. I want to switch over to another person trying to speak slower but that messes me up that that I I mess I make I make more mistakes so yeah 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 but, but, yeah so this is me <laughs> I speak fast so uh I yeah I I cannot change my I really can't change myself so okay I gotta embrace myself who I am but yeah. at least I wanna be better you know in yeah. terms of my accent yeah because... but you know, you know it's also that 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 um speaking fast is part of you it's part of your it shows who you are it's part of your personality you know, yeah, yeah. like, uh, like you're, you're kind of person you're, you're, you're going, you're constantly thinking, yeah. you're constantly yeah. processing. Yeah, but, and yeah. if you're not like a person who's really calm, very steady. Uh -huh. No, exactly. And so it's just, it's a part of you. It's just a uh, part of your personality. It's not something you really can, you can try and change, but it's not really that, that good of a thing to change. Trust yourself, love yourself, trust yourself, love yourself.